Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to install concrete around a pool. Now this is a vinyl pool, but you could probably pretty much use this same method for doing gunite pools, concrete pools. Now with a vinyl pool, the guys that we install behind, you know, they they install the pool, they, they dig it all out, put the pool in, backfill it, and then we show up and do the concrete part of it. So that's where we're at today. And we're using the Z pool forms from Concrete Countertop Solutions. Now these forms you can use over and over again. They're basically three parts. There's the part you tap into the pool. That it, This is all removable. And then there's the backer part. And then there's the form liner. And uh, I'll go over that more in the, in the video. But this is where we get the, the forms. And this is the forms that we're using. So they have rigid forms for the straight parts and then they have flexible ones if you've got curves so they'll go on all different types of pools and then the white strip you see right there on the inside of the pool that's the pool guy puts that on for us and we're tapping our forms into his his uh, white strip that kind of holds the liner on on this pool and if, if that's not on the pool then you can buy that piece screw it in yourself and then tap the forms right into it it's a really good system. We've used these forms over and over and over again on multiple pools. So you buy the set and then you just keep using them over and over again. And then, you know, if, if you need to add to it, you just buy more and add to it. Um, so what Darren and Eric are doing right now is they're putting on the first part of that form. That's That literally goes around a pool like this probably in about, you know, 10 minutes you can get that piece on. And this is the second part to it. This is just the backer piece. So that slides down right over the top of the first piece. This also allows the concrete coping to overhang the pool a couple inches, as you can see right there. And uh, so then after I get this top piece on all the way around, then I'm going to put in the liner. And there's multiple different textures of liners to pick from. So there's probably, I think they got nine or ten of them. That makes that pretty cool. We got three of them ourselves. Uh, two of them are really, really popular that we use the most. But I'm just trying to show you how simple this system is for putting on around the pool. And there I am sliding the liner in there. This is just a basic, like, slate texture liner. That's that red one way over to the right. We also got the yellow one there on the left. And then we have the smooth face one. But you can go right to their website here. I'll put a link for that in the description. You can check all this stuff out if you want. Um, but... If you're in the pool, you know, concrete business and you're doing pool decks, then this would definitely be a great forming system to have. I've tried all the styrofoam ones. By far, I think this one exceeds those as far as ease of use and just reliability. Um, it's very, it's a very rigid, very strong system. It's not just going to fall off and break. And again, it, after you get the pool deck done, you come back the next day and you can strip these forms right off. We haven't had to rub the faces as long as we're really good at, um, you know, vibrating that face and tapping it as we pour the concrete. It seems to come out really, really nice. So we're going to get just get the, the pool forms finished on here. And then we're going to put on the, then we're going to do the forms on the outside. We're just going to use two by fours today. It's about a four inch thick deck, which is pretty typical for a concrete pool deck here in Maine. And we're going to use, we use the use either the wire mesh for reinforcement with the fiber mesh in the concrete, or we'll put a matter rebar in here with the fiber mesh also. Today, in this pour, you'll see in a minute here, we're just going to use the, the wire mesh. This was a really, really good gravel base. You know, they dug out around this pool, they dug it down about four feet. I think the deepest part of the pool is probably seven feet. But for the most part, they dug out about four feet around this, installed all that really good gravel. It's got good drainage. It, the land slopes kind of away from the pool for the most part. So this was a, an ideal setup for putting it right on gravel. Pretty, It's about a thousand square foot pool deck. You know, it's six feet on a couple sides, eight feet on one side, and 10 feet on another side. Hey everybody, good morning. It's a Thursday morning. We've got a pool deck we're doing today. See the truck in there, got a conveyor. So we can reach it a little bit better. We. You know, we do quite a few of these pool decks a year. Not as many as, definitely not as many as we do floors, but, and we turn down a lot because there's a lot of people that want us to do them, but we can only really do so many. So we've got about 10 feet over there on that side, six feet around there, six feet on the back. 
It's almost a thousand square feet. That's a 32 by 16 pool. Just getting going here. We, as you can see, that was our really only access was through that fence. So it was either use a conveyor or a pump it. I think the conveyor is going to work out fine. He can reach about 40 feet. We should just reach over here on this side. Over. We should be good to go. what we like right there it's gonna be all broom finished today so depending on how fast it starts setting up on us we'll either cut in our joints by hand or we'll saw them in later right now the plan is to cut them in by hand yeah ready to go the cool thing about using the conveyor for us at least is obviously it moves up and down and it moves left and right but it also telescopes in and out about 10 feet. So we can get the truck in one spot and pour out basically one whole side like this without having to move it. That's pretty convenient and it's quite a bit of concrete. You know, getting the concrete in place is probably the hardest part of pouring something like this. Screeding it, bow floating it, and magging the edges and stuff like that. That's actually pretty easy when you're doing around a pool, especially one that's only, you know, between six and 10 feet wide. Um, just getting it to where you need it is the hardest part now without the conveyor if we couldn't have the conveyor today for whatever reason we would have either had to pump this which is probably what we would have done or we would have rented a power buggy you know that's a bit like a big huge wheelbarrow with a motor <laughs> and done it that way and that would have been a, a lot slower well the, one of the bad things about the conveyor is it kind of spits out a little bit of concrete paste even though when it was brand new it didn't do this but as things are wearing on it a little bit it'll spit a little bit of paste out so it can be a little bit of dirty right under that belt that's why we're moving that plastic around so once we get you know a good portion of it poured out then we just want to screed it down we don't want to get too much concrete or not enough where we need it we were a little bit high right here as you can see eric pulling it back but not we didn't go that far so we didn't have to pull it too too far and screeding, you know, we can screed right off the top of our forms, whether they're the pool coping forms or the 2x4 forms on the outside. So screeding one of these actually is pretty easy. This does slope away from the pool about an inch, too. So at least it'll shed some water if it gets rain on it. Well, good so far. You can't have too, too much left. He had 9.5 out of a 13, so he's got to be getting down there. You can see how much easier having that conveyor makes this job. Not much pulling when that thing's there. It just puts it right where you want it. Are any of you out there, you guys thinking of having a pool installed? And then, you know, what are you going to put around the pool? Are you going to put pavers around it? Are you going to do concrete like this or something else? I, you know, like I said earlier in the video, we do, we get calls to do probably... 50 i don't know at least 50 of them a year we there's no way we can do that many if that was all that we did then maybe but we have so many other contractors that have us doing floors and slabs and stamp concrete and all kinds of other things that we just can't do only pool decks so we only grab a handful of them a year really even though yes they're out they are a lot of work but but it's good work especially if the site is like this one um, for the most part, it's good work. I don't typically, you know, where this is going to be a broom finish. I like myself personally, I like just using regular 4000 PSI concrete with a really light broom finish. I think that gives you a really nice pool deck. It ends up curing out fairly light, almost, it's kind of, it's not white like the fence, but it's really, really light colored. So it doesn't get too hot under your feet in the sun. A lot of people, they want stamp concrete around a pool and, you know, the broom finished concrete's not going to be slippery if it's done right, if it's sealed right. Stamp concrete can get really slippery around a pool. And I just, you know, it's typically people want a color in stamp concrete, which darkens it, which makes it a lot hotter, a lot warmer in the sun. So, uh, you know, for, I would just rather do a, a regular plain old pool, uh, 
broom finish pool deck like this, and I think you're going to be perfectly fine. We I don't get to sh I don't get to video too many of the finished products, you know, a month from this. We we don't typically get to go back on jobs later on. I guess if I if I made a point to drive back there, I could take some finished picks. But um, anyway, that was my recommendation. All right, so we decided to not cut hand grooves in today. We're going to saw the joints in, so that's already setting up over there. So we'll let this set up a little more. We'll get on it. We'll mag it all out real good, and then we'll broom it, and then we'll we'll give it three or four hours, and we'll come back saw it today. So we'll have it all sawed, probably stripped today too. All right, so the, the reason we decided not to hand tool the joints in is because it's about 8.30, quarter, 9 in the morning. It's really hot and humid today. The sun's beating right on this thing. The concrete's already setting up over there where we started. Over there, you can see me in the background standing up. That's, that, that's already ready to go. So rather than, you know, take the time to put all kinds of hand tooled joints in this, we decide just to saw cut them in. That, and that's having to be that choice makes doing one of these even easier knowing you can come back later in the day and just saw cut your joints in and personally i prefer saw cut joints over hand tool joints they're just it's a nice tiny small straight cut versus a tool joints a little bit wider and you know maybe down south that's fine but up here in the north where we get lots of freeze and thaw cycles that really wide tool joint is just a place where water can collect and freeze you know starting first of december into march you're much more likely to get uh, spalling or scaling or chipping or peeling in those joints than you are in a saw joint where you can you can really just it's pretty easy to caulk a small saw joint that's an eighth of an inch wide and the concrete's more likely to crack inside a saw joint than it is a tool joint and the reason for that is when you're sawing a joint through the concrete, you're cutting through the aggregate, the paste, and everything. You're cutting it. When you're tooling a joint, you're just pushing the material to one side, the, the bigger material like the aggregate. The tool joint is just pushing it from one side to the other. So, yes, it's still more likely to crack than if you didn't put the tool joint in, but it's a lot more likely to crack in the joint if you saw it versus you tool it. So we've had really good luck with that up here um, in Maine where we're from, and that's the experience we've had. So that's why I just wanted to share that with you. And you can see I'm, I'm right on this thing. I'm mag floating it out. Typically we'll mag float out something like this twice. We've already done it with the, the funny float, and now I'm back on it with the skids and mag floating it by hand luke's hitting the edges what he can do and darren's coming right behind me brooming it then eric's putting the finished tool edge on it we like just to picture frame it with that tool and then that gives it the nice finished look so typically what we'll do on a day like today is you know we'll go set some job up somewhere else you know not too far away give this a few hours like i said and then we'll come back and as soon as it's firm enough to saw without damaging it, we'll we'll get our saw joints in. We don't let it sit overnight like this. It's too likely to crack overnight. And that's how we broom finish a pool deck, a patio, a walkway, a driveway. Basically the same way. You got to mag up the cream, get the broom finish on it right after, and then you get a nice light broom finish like that right there. Looks good. So we'll come back, we'll give this three or four hours, then we'll come back and saw it, saw in all the cuts, you know, off the corners, down the middles, get all our expansion cuts in, strip the forms, and then that's it, we'll be done with this one. We gotta come, actually, we gotta come back tomorrow and strip off the inside form coping, so that'll be done tomorrow. That's the, that's the Z pool forms uh, coping in there too that we use, really, really nice set of pool forms. I don't know how many sets, how many, how many pools I've got with that one set, but strip them off, you reuse them over and over again. Definitely well worth the cost. And as far as putting them on, that probably took three of us 15, 20 minutes to put that form on. And it's, you know, it holds itself in place. 
doesn't move. It's a real nice system. I'd highly recommend the Z-Pool forms.